Okay, hi everybody, it's Amanda here from the PB team bringing you this week's webinar. Um, today we're going to be talking about the new normal, hygiene and safety for COVID-19 secure wax treatments. So in this waxing special webinar, uh, Jess Kilby, who is the Head of Education for Australian Body Care UK, will explain how you can deliver a COVID-19 secure waxing treatment, covering the hygiene, the safety protocols you need to adhere to, and how to adjust to this new normal in salon life. Um, this webinar is sponsored by Australian Body Care UK and they are giving you guys an exclusive offer to use, which is great. Um, the brand is offering a 33% discount on its high wax starter kit. So it'll be just a hundred pounds instead of the RRP of 148 pounds. So an absolute steal. Um, we'll be putting the link in the comment box on Facebook and on Zoom where you can go have a look at the kit and take advantage of that amazing offer. But Jess, thank you so much for joining us today. How are you? Hey, I'm good, thank you. Thank you so much. It's amazing to have you on here. And yeah, I don't know if you wanna um, maybe say a little bit about yourself before we kind of get stuck into the webinar. Yeah, so um, I'm Jess, obviously. I am Head of Education for Australian Body Care. I've been with Australian Body Care now for six years, just over. Um, previous to that, I actually had my own salon, um, which, of course, I absolutely loved. So it's really nice that I've got experience in both fields so I could really sort of relate to people in the salon business that have their own business especially um, and of course working in salons um, previous to that I also worked on board the cruise ships um, and I actually started my career in spa so um, yeah I've done a few bits and bobs but here I am. <laughs> Uh, so you've got a whole wealth of experience in the industry, which is amazing. Um, so yeah, obviously today we're going to be talking about the importance of hygiene and safety when doing waxing treatments during the coronavirus pandemic. Um, I guess with clients now a little bit more nervous about a second wave, I think especially recently where there's been so much information about new local lockdown restrictions and all of them coming in quite quick succession and in all corners of the UK it feels like. How can salons and wax therapists reassure clients ahead of their booking that the treatment will be safe and hygienic? Um, I think the key point to this question really is that we need to not have any secrets with our client. We need to be totally, totally transparent. So I would really reassure them, um, of course, that we will be wearing our personal protective equipment. I would also let them know um, exactly the steps that we're taking throughout that treatment and how we're preparing that treatment room before they enter. So it really is making them feel really reassured assured um, and like I say absolutely holding no secrets so mm. I would really be saying whilst you know before I was performing my Australian body care waxing treatment I would be reassuring them that I am using tea tree which of course is antibacterial and I am using the most hygienic waxing system by um, actually not using a spatula but using our own dispenser head so the client will actually have their own dispenser head for their treatment so no risk of cross-contamination at all so yeah it really is just to reassure them and, and just have no secrets yeah and what are the key things that waxers should include on their website or say over the phone during bookings to kind of help put clients minds at ease further again um tell them exactly what we're doing um <laughs> i would say that we um obviously that you are going to be wearing the personal protective equipment um, I would also let them know that they must wear a mask um, upon entry um, and, and we would let them know when they are going to remove that or if they can't remove it I would also um, again let them know you know really advertise the fact that what you are doing is completely antibacterial it's completely clean um, we are going to every single step that we can do so whether that be you know, sanitizing the whole treatment room before they enter. So again, I think really the same as the first question, no secrets at all. You know, we we are doing the best we can um, to make your treatment as safe and hygienic as possible for, for our clients. 
Mm. And I guess it must be really important as well to get this message out on social media as well, as that's such a key way that people are kind of digesting yeah, it. it it's, it's the way now, isn't it? I mean, before I would go anywhere, I would always check that place out on social media. So it's really good to advertise mm. the fact of, of what we're doing. I mean, a couple of my, um, actually, my clients, they advertise the fact that they are using a Australian body care because it's got the highest grade of tea tree in there so mm. from the start of their treatment they are getting that antibacterial aspect right until the end um, and again just advertising the fact I mean one of my um, the salons that I look after actually did a video of um, one of the therapists doing the clean in between mm -hmm. each client which again is it's obviously very interactive but it's also really great to show that they're taking every single step that they can to ensure that everybody's safe. Yeah, and I think that's it, isn't it? Because we know that the beauty industry is really hygienic. Um, anyway. Yeah, yeah, anyway, even before this, but I guess it just doesn't hurt to reiterate that fact to clients um, and just to get that message out there. Um, one thing I was going to ask you, actually, just off the back of this, is just, have you seen any difference in what types of waxing treatments clients want now that things have reopened and salons have got back or have you noticed any change in terms of like are people back to back booking appointments they have a longer slot or has there been any change like that definitely having that 15 minute gap in between each client that ensures that the therapist has enough time to obviously make preparation um, for the treatment it also um gives them opportunity to clean down the whole room um, and obviously get themselves prepared, which is mm. so important. I mean, just, just one of my um, therapists that I taught last, you know, a couple of weeks ago on, on via Zoom was telling me how she needs that time because she wears glasses to make sure that her mask is on properly. And that is just so important, as silly as it sounds. So she needs that time, you know, put the wire on the nose, make the knots, make sure she's complete because it steams up her glasses and then she can't yeah. do the treatment. Yeah. So it, it really is important to have that time for cleaning, obviously, but also to get yourself ready. I think we can't forget about ourselves in this as well. Um, so obviously clients, but we, we have to make sure that we are doing everything that we can to make a safe environment. Mm. And obviously- yeah, 15 minutes, 15 yeah. minutes. I think that's kind of I think quite standard I think for a lot of people is that kind of time frame just to make sure everything's clean between you know, everything's ready for the next client which is really important yeah. but definitely I think busy busyness wise client wise mm. the regular clients they're, they're, com they're coming back because as I said to you before when the client has been that initial first time after lockdown Mm. seen what you're doing they've seen that you're taking every step that you can they've seen that you know that the salon is clean you are doing every single thing that you can they they've got that trust they feel safe and they will keep coming back for their treatment at the end of the day waxing is a staple treatment that everybody wants yeah and will carry on wanting yeah it's a real bread and butter service and it I really think is once a client's come in they've had it and they've seen that it's completely safe and secure they're going to come back time and time again aren't they um and they don't want to keep shaving do they because obviously no. people during lockdown <laughs> yeah. have to thought to the razor um but you know it's just not nice and it's not the way so yeah i think definitely people will come back to you yeah sure. and i think in no time we'll be back to normal especially yeah. without and obviously hygiene has always been really important for waxing but are there any additional measures that waxers should be taking now I guess beyond the usual measures and just making sure you have the right PPE I mean are there any kind of cleaning products you would recommend or like anything that you think is a like an absolute must? Uh, I mean I really do think that disposable towels, disposable couch covers are really great. I was a big fan of them before this um, because of the mess. So if you do use a spatula, it can be quite messy. That's where Australian body care is great because we're using the dispenser head, so it's not messy. Um, but from a hygiene point of view, it, it really just is a matter of cleaning the bed down, disposing of it properly. That really is a point that mm. we have 
to remember as well. It's all well and good having all the disposable equipment, disposable equipment, but if we don't dispose of it properly, then, you know, it, it, it defeats the object. So I definitely think disposable towels, disposable couch covers are great um, for cleanliness and for hygiene, mm. um, but also to use an antibacterial product. And of course, mm. tea tree is fantastic. We have a range of, of of tea tree products obviously every single product in our range contains the highest grade of tea tree but one which really sticks um you know that's been really popular during these times is our australian body care wipes so they're just so easy so we can use them as a, a pre-waxing wipe so to remove any bacteria debris from the skin but you can also use them on surface oh okay you want to. Um, okay. and for our hands and everything so mm. they are a really great product to use yeah, so they kind of got a dual purpose, which is yeah, uh, and they smell great. They're really refreshing, um, but yeah, they're re they're a really good product to have on your trolley or in your mm. room. <laughs> and obviously, PPE, you know, it's not going away anytime soon. I think um, okay. it's here to stay. I mean, do you have any tips for managing the way that waxes should be putting their PPE on? and then removing it and how to store it to make sure they're doing it in like the absolute safe yeah. way. I mean, I'm not going to tell you how to put a mask or an apron on or a visor. Mm -hmm. However, I really think it's a great idea if you have a spare hour or a spare few moments to get all your PPE into little packs. Mm -hmm. So gloves, apron, ready, mask, already so in between in your 15 minute slot you have got that grab the pack out and you've got time to quickly get it all ready get it all on um so yeah i think that really works um i mean i love being organized and <laughs> really great to be organized especially when you're in that time frame i mean if you run over a little bit at least you know you haven't got to be messing around trying to root through covers to find an apron to mm. find gloves, and it's just easy and what i would say to do is is pop it in a little um almost like a bin liner bag a little bag take it out and then at the end when you're finished you can pop it all back in that bag and put mm. both of it properly so yeah i always think organization is the key really make sure that you've got you know everything organized and, and and planned so during the day you can grab your PPE pack and and get it on nicely before your client and that goes as well with the disposable couch roll the disposable sorry couch covers and towels I, I would I would have those ready as well um, mm -hmm. so although it's a little bit of planning it, it saves time during the day yeah I guess it's just more preparation but it makes yeah. it smoother for for you and kind of a bit more effective. Yeah. I mean, are there any big no-nos when it comes to taking off your PPE? Like, should you be taking it off in a certain order? And obviously as well with some masks, um, there's the issue of being able to recycle them as well. I don't know if you've got any kind of information or opinion I mean, on that. I always use the disposable um, masks, obviously. The fabric ones are okay. Um, but for treating, I would say the disposable ones are the best. They are, some of them are recyclable. So we've just got mm -hmm. to, it really comes back to making sure that we dispose of everything properly and thoroughly. Yeah. A big no-no for me with PPE is, is leaving it around. So, because again, mm -hmm. that would be, you know, if you're rushing, take it off and just think, oh, I'll pop it in that corner. That That's no good because the room would be contaminated. So it really is a matter of yeah. disposing of everything correctly. And it, and if you do want to recycle, which is obviously a, a great idea, then um, you dispose of it in your recycling area mm -hmm. that you have at, at, at work or at the salon. And um, Jess, we've just had a question come through on Zoom and I just thought I'd bring it up before we kind of move on. Um, when you were talking about the wipes, and we've got a question from Chris Harbord and he said, um, you speak of antibacterial, but what about antiviral? Oh, I don't know. <laughs> um, I know that they're antibacterial, obviously, because they contain tea tree. Um, so they've got the 2% tea tree in there, which is the highest grade of tea tree oil. Antiviral, um, I would say that they do need to contain the 70% alcohol, which obviously they don't. So what I would recommend that you do is, if you use your um, antiviral spray, so your Dettol or whatever you're using that has got the alcohol in there, and then go over with the with the wipe. Um, 
on your on the skin obviously they they are completely safe to use on skin we don't need to use anything alkalized before that so they're completely safe to use on the skin beforehand you don't need any anything else but surface wise perhaps just make sure that you you're using something a little bit stronger but certainly for the skin the wipe is enough to remove any bacteria virus everything mm. I um, hope that's answered your question, Chris. And if anybody else does have any questions, do post them in the comment box and we will do our best to get Jess to answer as many of them as she can. Um, I guess as well, you know, is there anything that waxers should be telling their clients to do to minimise any risks? I mean, you know, does the well, client have any responsibility in terms of the safety of the treatment? Well, obviously, we um, would ask them to wear their mask. Upon arrival that would be their responsibility to do so and um, I would say as well that they just need to be a little bit more aware that perhaps that they can't come and have a cup of tea beforehand and you know relax for half an hour unfortunately we do need to them to arrive really for their treatment right on time so mm. there's no you know cross seeing people um, so that that would again be a really good point but also again not to bring too many belongings i mean i've known people bring <laughs> yeah. everything but the kitchen sink with them for their treatment so it's um a, a really good idea to perhaps mention on the telephone before you know when we're confirming the treatment mm. that obviously wear their mask um we will be checking them um their temperature temperature checks always a, a really good one um and just letting them know really again it goes back to the, the mm. first point of no secrets so um and, and again let them know that we will be asking them to check in on the uh, qr with the qr code for the for the nhs app which has been a real success from mm. feedback um so yeah so minimize belongings wear their mask and just be a little bit more patient yeah i guess that they're just all the the little things that clients are so used to doing aren't they um and i guess it's a thing of they will come back and those things will come back it's just about having a bit of patience and uh you getting know, used to the new normal yes the new normal definitely yeah. and you know are there any common mistakes that you see waxes make when it comes to hygiene um yes double dipping <laughs> yeah <laughs> you'll see it unfortunately um if if people are if salons are still using um the spatula method um then they just need to try their best not to double dip mm -hmm. before it was like an illegal thing for me but even more so now um wax standard wax just isn't hot enough to kill viruses bacteria mm -hmm. it, it, it really just harbors it actually so if you're oh, double dipping okay your wax will just be full of, of nasties. Mm -hmm. um, so avoid the double dipping, of course. Um, obviously with Australian body care, that is the perfect thing at the moment because we've got our own little um, tubes. Actually, I've got one here. So we mm -hmm. have our, our tubes and our um, dispenser head. So you just screw that on there um, and your client has that for themselves. So that there's no risk of anything. They come vacuum packed, so they're brand new. Mm. And then we throw them away after um another great thing about our wax and not using the the spatula method this type of waxing anyway <laughs> is the fact that it's really thin um so it's it's the wax can is slightly hotter than standard jar wax um and so it reduces the pain as well so it's like mm. two one so it's more hygienic mm -hmm. and and it of course reduces the pain which is great um but yeah the double dipping is it, yeah just, yeah so Judy, i remember the metal spatulas um you know they're, they're mm. just a complete no no we we just need to be a lot more conscious especially now of exactly what we're doing and and that is why the australian body care system is fantastic because of that there is no cross contamination whatsoever yeah and yeah that product that you showed that's really handy i guess anything where you can make it much more personalized to the client and that's uh, we have to do, they come in two different sizes as well so that one um this this the blue one is really great for sort of legs um, mm -hmm. and it's so much quicker too because we're not actually having to go back and get the wax yeah literally just apply it and then um obviously remove um 
yeah, but we, we, this is for the more larger areas, but we also do a, a slimmer head um, as well. So again, really good for sort of lip, chin, underarms, maybe bikini. Mm. And um, which types of products and ingredients can help most with wax hygiene? I think you can guess what I'm going to say. Tea tree. <laughs> <laughs> of course. Um, tea tree is, as I said before, is naturally antibacterial. It's naturally anti-inflammatory. So fantastic when we are performing a treatment such as waxing. Mm. Um, it has a gorgeous menthol camphor smell. All of our products, they smell so invigorating, refreshing, and of course, clean. And um, mm. so it's a really, really great ingredient to use in a waxing treatment and and of course others as well mm. uh, australia body care we offer manicures pedicures you know but in waxing it really is great because obviously we're removing that hair so we do have a little bit of open yeah open, open hair follicle so it, it 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 tea tree is just amazing i mean i couldn't live without it now um, mm. and i know that probably sounds biased but it is so clean it is so refreshing it's so invigorating and again it's the hygiene i mean it's all mm. over house washing hands all the time and um you know it's just it's just great because it's got that natural antibacterial um property to it mm. and what about home care products as well for clients to maintain the results afterwards and to keep the hygiene levels up like what's the kind of things that you would recommend they take home so we have for example we do an after wax lotion um, so after their treatment, after they've, you know, we would apply that in our treatment, but when they go home, it's actually called the body lotion. It's exactly the same as what the professional uses in salon and it has got the um, tea tree in there. So mm -hmm. it will keep any bacteria away, but also because tea tree is also anti-inflammatory, it will really help to bring down any redness. If they're coming again, so if they're a regular client, we have an amazing body scrub, which is fantastic. So that would really help with in, in, ingrown hairs, dry skin. Um, but again, it just helps to our skin to keep renewing, be really nice and clean. Um, and of course, the wipes. I've actually got a packet here. The wipes are great. So home care wise, these, these are great to use. In the summer, I actually pop these in my fridge. And if you get a bit mm -hmm. hot, you can use them but these are great for everywhere like I say even in the car if you want some hand wipes um after waxing you can still use these underarm if you want to mm -hmm. so we have a whole range of home care um which is just you know fantastic that we can have a waxing brand that does have home care as well which is actually quite unusual yeah and um we've had a couple of questions come through jess i just thought i'd ask them to you before we kind of get to the um, my last question for you but um maria woodbridge has asked how they should be disposing of disposable towels so i would literally it all depends on the manufacturer if, if they're recyclable and um, some of them are some of them aren't um with regards to the disposable towels pop them into the, a bin liner as i said before if you wanted to get your um disposable towels and couch covers in little packs ready put them in the little sack um so when once you've used them you can put then put them that back in that sack and either stick them in your recycling bin or into your normal waste bin um, but just make sure that they're not being screwed up and put underneath the hidden under the bed or in, in a corner <laughs> somewhere. Just make sure that they are disposed of properly. Uh, but again, it comes down to the manufacturer. Unfortunately, we don't supply them, but we, um, we it's something that we that we possibly will look into. We do have other PPE options. So we do mm. have a great hand sanitizer, um, which has aloe vera in so it doesn't smell too... Um, you know, it's, it's, you know, they've got some smell. They also provide gloves and masks as well. So, um, yeah, it's uh, yeah, it, it's the new normal, isn't it? Now we've we've tried to adapt to everything, but just yeah. make sure you read the manufacturer's um, instructions about how they can be disposed of. But I would say definitely get them in that little sack and and do mm. do what you can. <laughs> Um, so I hope that's answered your question, Maria. Thanks for that. Um, we've also got a question from Lisa Ellison. And um, she just said, I was always taught that tea tree was antiviral, antibacterial and antifungal. Is that right? Yes. Tea tree is. Yeah. And does it matter about the percentage of tea tree or the concentration of tea tree that's in the product as, it, as to how effective so, it is? 
in the UK we have regulations actually we can only use the highest amount we can use is two percent so that's what we have in all of our products so we are using the highest grade our tea tree is actually um, called it's called Melaleuca alternifolia and it's actually derived from um, tea tree uh, trees and leaves in from Australia and um, so we do try and look for the highest grade of tea tree um, there is lots of tea tree available but we rest assured Australian body care really really are you know we work on using the best and the highest grade that we can so it's all about the quality and the grade of the tea tree and the products as to how effective that product is going to be for the client yeah well i hope that's answered your question lisa thanks for sending that through um and yeah jess i guess as well you know do you think the pandemic is going to have a lasting impact on the waxing industry and if so what do you think it's going to look like? Absolutely not. Um, I don't. I, I really don't. I, I, without sounding too abrupt, I actually think that men and women um, care too much about their appearance and care too much about how they feel. Mm. Um, and I really think, as I said earlier, waxing is such a staple treatment that people need and want that once they have been for that initial treatment after lockdown, so their first treatment, once they have been assured that you're going to the lengths that you need to to keep them safe and to keep yourself safe, mm. they will be back to you. And I think we will be back to normal in no time. The new normal is the adaptations, the 15 minutes in between, the making sure that we're using the correct PPE. Mm. Um, but I just think try your best to incorporate as many antibacterial products that mm. you can. Yeah. And do you think as well, because like you said, like um, waxing is such a, a bread and butter service and clients are not really ever going to stop having them because it's such a, a regular part of their routines. Do you think this is the perfect time for salons to really try and maximise on that and do a bit of marketing about all the waxing services that they do or try and incorporate them into packages? Um, you know, is that the way to go? I, I absolutely do think packages are, are fantastic, you know, and, and I think, I mean, I know that a couple of my um, clients, um, my salons, they, they, they said to me, Jess, I'm so busy. And guess what it is? It's for waxing. Um, you know, it, it's back to back waxing um, because either people have waited or people have got that razor out and, and they want to get back into the routine that they've spent years doing. So, yeah, really push it on social media, really market it as well as you can. And it's always great to do that when you have a brand, especially like Australian Body Care behind you. And um, so I would say that if, if you can, if you were watching, go and have a look at our, our social media and, and mm -hmm. see, you know, what how we sort of advertise and market our brand um, and of course you can use that content mm. as well and I guess as well it's now the time to try and upsell those clients that come in regularly say for an intimate wax and try and upgrade them to also have a leg wax or an armpit wax yeah. at the same time like is that the way to be a bit more clever because I guess if you can have that one client in the room for a few treatments back to back that would be quite uh, yeah I mean I always think that if you have I have a client come in for anything for anything if they trust you they got a relationship with you and they like you and they like the service that you've given them they will do what you say mm. it, when it comes down to it so if you say oh Amanda why don't you try the leg wax we mm. you know it's half price this month um, we're using the highest grade of tea tree it's antibacterial you know you are going to get a much nicer feel to you know your skin it's it's practically painless um, mm -hmm. try it and see how you feel with it and then is your time then to go on to your home care and then all of a sudden you have a client that's coming in for intimate legs underarm facial everything mm -hmm. Um, so I always think, again, it's it's the trust, isn't it? it it's yeah. so important, um, mm -hmm. the trust with your client. Therapist to client trust is, is so important. And building that relationship up. Mm. And yeah, clients really do trust their therapists. So I guess now's as good a time as any to really use that to your advantage. And I guess working smarter because that client might have always thought about potentially maybe having that treatment, but never sort of 
taken the leap to do it. Yeah. Sometimes people just need a little bit of a nudge, don't they? Yeah, they do. And they need that confidence as well because, you know, I mean, I remember when I, I was treating, I used to have clients come in for an eyebrow wax and I used to, and, and they still, do you think I've got, you know, after a couple of times, do you think <laughs> I've got a few hairs, you know, on, on my lip? And, you know, that, that you've got that trust, you've got that relationship. So you could say, oh, yes, Amanda, I'll do that for you now. And, and then that's a regular treatment then that they're going to have. So again, it's, it's that trust, it's that confident. And it, it's almost like a friendship, isn't it? I suppose. Yeah, definitely. Well, Jess, they were all of my questions. Thank you so much. It's been yeah. brilliant talking to you. Yeah, it's been brilliant. Yeah, obviously, I know so many of the PB followers, you guys watch these in your own time. So if you do have any questions for Jess and you're watching it after the fact of it being live, do post in the comment box on Facebook and I will get these questions over to Jess and I'll get some answers to you guys. Um, I just want to remind everybody that this session is sponsored by Australian Body Care UK, which is amazing. And they are doing an exclusive offer for PB readers. Um, the brand is offering a 33% discount on its high wax starter kit. So the product that Jess was showing you earlier. Um, it's so amazing. It's it amazing. It's got incredible. everything in it that you need yeah. to start. It looks incredible. It's going to make your life a bit easier in salon. And um, instead of the RRP of £148, you can get it for £100, which is great. Um, there's a link in the comment box on Facebook and in Zoom now. So if you did want to go check it out, absolutely do. Um, but Jess, yeah, just thank you so much for joining us today and sharing all your knowledge. It's been really great. Thanks, everybody, for watching. Yeah, and I'm, I'm sure I will see you about in the future at some point. Yes. Yeah, but yeah. thanks so much. Hopefully at the show soon. Yes, I'd love <laughs> to see you at the show. <laughs> I'll see you later. Thanks, Bye. Amanda. Bye. Thank you.